Trinity. Red and blue pill. Hi ho. Kermit the Frog. Come with me. And you'll see. NASA admitted that the idea of Earth portals, areas on the planet that instantly teleport human beings from one place to the other, are a reality that they have been studying for quite some time. Stargate portal exists in many locations. Usually these are found where the faraway geomagnetic field bumps up against the passing solar wind. The result is a direct pathway between the Earth and the Sun. Data to confirm that a magnetic Stargate portal exists in many locations. Usually these are found where the faraway geomagnetic field bumps up against the passing solar wind. The result is a direct pathway between the Earth and the Sun. NASA launched its Magnetosphere Multiscale Mission, MMS, that among other things is tasked in studying these portals to gain deeper understanding of them. Most of these are small with short lives though others have been observed as gaping holes with sustained lifespans, opening and closing numerous times during the day. Magnetic forces mingle, allowing their crackling energy particles to flow between the Earth and the Sun. These meeting points, called X-points by NASA, have been pinpointed by scientists using Polar data. 1951. The Bermuda Triangle was deemed to be a mysterious area in which huge military ships, planes were lost without any plausible explanation forthcoming from the government or the military. In 1964, Vincent H. Gaddis argued that the Bermuda Triangle was the site of strange occurrences such as disappearing tanker ships, jets, and with other government being unwilling or unable to provide a reason or explanation. Then the famous Philadelphia experiment. The Philadelphia experiment, also sometimes um, called Project Rainbow, grew out of the desire to cloak the U.S. Navy's destroyer, the USS Eldridge, so that the enemy devices were not able to detect it. Built on concepts relative to Stargate portals, the project relied on te technological application developed by well-known and respected scientist, the great Nikola Tessa and Albert Einstein. And I've done a video on this. Testing started in 1943 and was successful to a large degree. In fact, some witnesses noted that they saw a green fog in the area where the massive ship once stood. Further experiments in late October resulted in the USS Eldridge vanishing from its shakedown. Crews in the Bahamas, simultaneously sailors stationed 375 miles south of Norfolk Naval Base in Norfolk, Virginia, reported the ship's appearance for several minutes before it vanished. Alfred B. Bielik, a former crew member on board the USS Eldridge, and Duncan Cameron, who would later work on the Montauk project, jumped in from the deck of the USS Eldridge when it was trapped in hyperspace and landed in the future. Once they arrived at Camp Hero in 1983, they were tasked with returning to the USS Eldridge in order to destroy the equipment holding the ship in hyperspace. The pair did so successfully before leaping off the deck and materializing in the current year. And then there's the Montauk Project. Located at Montauk, Long Island, New York, Montauk Air Force Station, also known as Camp Hero, was the site for the Montauk Project, an extension of the famed Philadelphia Experiment. This United States government backed research projects sought to further substantiate data on magnetic fields once secret funding was reviewed 
from the Department of Defense, various experiments were conducted, including the creation of the Dimension Portal, and that enabled researchers to travel to far-flung locales. As a result of their success, researchers also developed a time tunnel in which contact was made with aliens, as well as underground tunnels and brain reprogramming methods. In a notable incident, a flying saucer became stuck in the Montauk underground tunnels with its alien crew demanding a crystal needed to repair the engines so they could leave. The military and space portals research. It should be no surprise to learn that the military is both a conduit and a supporter of space portal research. With billions of dollars in research funding funneled to various projects by the Department of Defense, a significant amount was earmarked to allow the military to establish a Stargate portal. During the Iraq War, under the guise of searching for weapons of mass destruction, President George W. Bush invaded that country in an effort to control a dimensional portal and stop extraterrestrials from annihilating humankind or culling the world's population.